there has been one player flying under the radar for too long just because they made a terrible character. That character is Little Mac, and the player is Peanut. Peanut has been posting some amazing results recently. We are going to be watching two of his sets. He got 17th at Collision. Uh, we're gonna be watching one set from Collision and one set from a regional pretty recently. We're going to be watching Collision versus God I Miss Here, AKA Casimir, AKA Yeti, a Mega Man player, one of the best Mega Mans in the world, and then also him versus ZD at a uh, New Jersey regional. The fact that he's able to beat all these people is amazing. Again, 17th, he literally lost a tweak and shiny mark at Collision. Collision, but I don't really want to go over the shiny mark set because it kind of looks bad and then it's going to look bad to me be recording it. It's a whole thing. Plus, I'm going to be going over it more in the shiny mark video that I end up doing. So subscribe if you want to watch that. But yeah, Peanut's amazing. Peanut is literally so underrated and everyone knows that Peanut's really good, but he's still underrated. So let's get into it. But before we get into it, let's talk about today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Unfortunately, data on the internet is quite easy to steal if you are a nefarious user, but ExpressVPN will help you protect that. ExpressVPN keeps people away from stealing your information by encrypting it. It prevents ISPs from using and selling your data, it prevents hackers from getting it, and it just makes everything a lot more secure while also unlocking new content on region-locked sites. ExpressVPN is also very easy to use. Once you get it and download it, you literally just click, hey, I want my VPN to be in this area, and you're done. And as easy as it is to use, ExpressVPN is just as easy to get. All I gotta do is go to the link in my description, click it, and sign up for ExpressVPN. So if you want the fastest speeds for a VPN, the number one VPN in general, and 24-7 customer support, get ExpressVPN with the link in my description and you get three months for free. Thank you again to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Let's get to it. This set, Peanut versus God I Miss Her, was after God I Miss Her beat Siski 3-0. Apparently, like, it was bad. I didn't see the set. Um, so I'm picking up Mega Man. So let's see what he does. I played Peanut a lot this weekend, actually. I played him in Squad Strike. I played him in, like, four money matches. I think one of them was Pika, and then like three of them were me, Swordfighter. We'll place a peanut bait. He got 17th. Like, his advantage with this character is actually crazy. Ooh, Lucky got the out hit. Uh, you're dead. You're not making that. Oh, he almost made it off of Rush. I don't know. I'm becoming a bigger and bigger Peanut, peanut Little Mac fan. Whoa, okay, that up smash was amazing by Kashmir. He's dead. Uh, you're just dead. You get put on a platform and you die if you don't get up attack there. And then if you do get up attack and he avoids it or he shields it, you die anyway. It feels like me, Brawler. He took so much damage. But he didn't die because he can neutral B, baby. Let's go. And then air dodge. He's gonna still die. He two framed through the fucking crash bomb. Oh, because he grabbed it from above it. Yeah, it's an invincible ledge grab. Bro, I'm so tired of this. Can people not have invincible ledge grabs? I'm a character that gets two-framed and I don't even want invincible fucking ledge grabs at this point. Down. Eh. Oh, I like the up B move by, like that. the up B there was really, really good by uh, Kashmir. But this is up till, oh no, you lose, yeah, you, you lose KO punch there. Does he win without KO punch or does he just get one third stock? I love the up air just for a little bit of extra pressure. Oh. Oh, it swapped. So he doesn't, he's not gonna get hit there. Air dodge, up B, yeah. Yeah, Kazmir's playing really well. He loses this game. Does he 3 0 him? Oh, that recovery was amazing. What the fuck? I was like, this looks like he dies here. So I was very confused. And yeah, just fishing for the platform thing, because why the fuck not? It kills. Yeah. Oh, nice back air, back throw by Kashmir. Jeez. Lose a KO punch again. Okay, so I thought it was 3-0. I thought he won that game. Kashmir just said, no, 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 not in my house. Oh, nice jab stutter. Oh, almost put on platform, but not quite. Yeah, you just, you just have to literally avoid platforms at all costs against Peanut Little Mac. <gasps> He's so ready for the panic options, but having a, an, a panic option like Rush is gonna be so good for Mega Man in this matchup. But like, look at this lead suddenly. What the fuck happened? Because what happened is Peanut is godlike. His recoveries are also, like, Peanut's recoveries are legitimately amazing. Like, the amount of times he recovers versus goddamn Pikachu is crazy, because you're not supposed to be able to do that. Mega Man is so cool. When you're not just playing one on Elite Smash that only just, like, up be down air, Leaf Shield. He died at 74. He hella died at 74. And yeah, not going to do enough damage individually to knock him out. Oh, pfft. 
Because, like, honestly, getting hit by pellets here isn't the worst. Like, taking damage is bad. Duh. But it's a pretty not... Like, getting hit as Little Mac isn't a big deal if you're not getting knocked off stage for the most part. Um... And pellets just deal damage with that without being able to knock someone off stage unless it's the close hit. So, like, he's just getting closer to KO Punch without really losing anything and without risking dying. You know what I'm saying? That instant wall jump was really good. Was it an instant wall jump or a double jump? Yeah, okay. Mega Man can instant wall jump. And Tornado didn't send it to tumble, so KO Punch is still there. That's gonna hella kill. Gets Metal Blade. Oh, he side beat over the pellets. Yeah, damage. 41 to 65. 24% is going to be a big deal. Because this is going to be down tilt put on platform into death percent. You see you see Peanut going for it. He's just going to like jab and try to down tilt or up tilt and get someone on platform. He play he plays Little Mac like I play me Brawler. Which is like, I'm just going to fish for my win condition. That was it. He died. I like how it comboed into F tilt 2 specifically. Peanut's nice. What was that? Up tilt, down tilt? Yeah, up tilt, down tilt, F tilt. Ow. <gasps> oh, I was like, please just do it. Just fucking kill him. Holy shit, that would have been so good. I love the downer extension on the punish. Oh, going for the uppy there. I don't blame him. It's frame one. Like, dude, Little Mac. It, the fact that he gets kills the way he does on platforms is actually kind of insane. Doesn't go for the KO punch there. Interesting. This maybe wants to save it if he gets the, t the down tilt two frame. Because he does. Good DI by Kashmir, though. Yeah, I got schmixed. I also got schmixed. <gasps> Does he make it? No, the crash bomb doesn't hit him. Are you dead? Oh my god, he hella died. 104 from down tilt. Doosh. Down air. Grab. Back air. Oh, I missed the full hop. Look at this damage, though, by Kashmir. And Peanut says, no, I don't care. Again, that's, what, two-thirds of the way to KO punch? Ow. I forgot how much hit the platform. What you get for whiffing a grab? That would have been so chi by Kashmir. That hit? Oh my god, he confirmed. Ugh. He was at two and went to like 50. Ew. I like the spot dodge up tilt. Oh, and the forward smash was really good. Jump down here? No, didn't want to be obvious with it. Mm hmm. Up tilt? Up, be your dead. Can't be on platform. Yeah, you see, got. Oh, he lived? You see, God, I miss her kind of shake uh, shake his head. He's like, oh, that was dumb on me. Because he put himself there. That's not like even like uh, Peanut like tech chased him on there. Oh, the Nair was so good. You're dead again. <gasps> no, he didn't. He didn't dash back. He should have been dead. What a parry on the downer, but then you're still so plus that you can just up tilt. <laughs> And yeah, Peanut's uh, kind of swinging for the fences here, but you're a little Mac. It's kind of what you do all the time. Dash attack? No, you run up jab? Ew, what the fuck? This looks like a combo. Okay, no, he, he crouched. Okay. That was not a combo. He was just probably DIing down and away or something from the jabs. Or SDIing or something. Get up that damage. I mean, he is trying to get Kashmir onto that platform. Look at these up airs. He's not an air fighter, but it's working. Look at that. No, it was a little slow. That would have been so cool. Ooh, the call out. Little McNair should have been him jump roping. Honestly, that'd be kind of sick. Just, just, pa, and that's the hitbox. It'd be kind of like a Joker near. That'd be sick. What the fuck? That'd be so cool. KO Punch is online. Kashmir's really scared, which, like, makes sense, because you die at 25. Sorry, 28 when you get hit. Boosh. Bah. How much damage does KO Punch do? 44 damage. I mean, it doesn't matter, because it fucking kill. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But like, that's a lot of damage. Uh, boosh. You know what? I take it back. Everyone says Little Mac has bad design. Little Mac is hype. Little Mac is super hype and cool, okay? Anyone who said that is wrong. Look at the... He's going to three-stock him. I mean, he's probably not, but, like... If he gets a down tilt in the right spot, he's, he's actually dead. 40. Oh, gets through the crash bomb. Doesn't get anything on the trump either. Okay, there's the four. That's dead. If you die in on down throw, you actually die. What a fucking dude. God damn. He played so well. I get another two frame. Oh, sorry. It wasn't a two frame. 
Cashmere missed the ledge, probably wanted to like forward it or something. I like that, like, no, give me a fucking handshake. Your goddamn little Mac who beat Mega Man. Fuck you, shake my hand. Like, he's like, he's like, that's so impressive. Shake my goddamn hand. Like, you deserve a handshake. So this was for seventh place. I think uh, Peanut got like fourth here. Also, Peanut says happy birthday. So say happy birthday in the comments. And while you're down in the comments, don't forget to subscribe to the notifications. Ring the bell. Yippee. Who's the worst design character in Ultimate? Uh, Lucario. Yeah, see, he's punishing the, dis punishing the disadvantage really well. But the thing is, is, like, again, if you're Little Mac and you're not dying, fuck it. Like, if you are not dying to Little Mac, or as Little Mac, you're chilling. Look at how high this KO punch hits. Boosh! <laughs> up throw. How much does that do? How much does up throw do? How much does up throw do? How much does up throw do? I'm very curious. Okay, nine. I thought I did 13. Yeah, gotta be careful about that. But hey, I mean, a lead. Having, being down against Little Mac is terrifying unless you have a really easy way to edge guard. And I don't think Wolf really does. Next hit could be dead. Like getting a down tilt at ledge is probably dead. Getting something to put on platform obviously is going to die as we've seen already. Oh, nice dash attack though. Trying to get the two frame, doesn't get it. It's scary to pressure there too because if, you know, Peanut just parries and then gets an up tilt up there, you're dead. It's being up tilt. Oh, I love the side B attempt. Yeah, the scramble. Of course, of course, of course. Scramble KO punch is kind of nice. Because, like, he went through shield, obviously. I wonder if he tried to spot dodge. Nope. Just hit him. I love that he just says, fuck it, let it rip on the up B. Because, worst case, he's getting, like, comboed kind of the same. Tries to up B out of shield. Up B out of shield's really fast. Misses that. That's an impressive miss, honestly. Because, like, what you do against this type of up B out of shield, you just kind of go in one direction and then, like, dash grab. Like, Little Mac doesn't have the drift here. So, I would probably, because I'm, I want him off stage, I'd probably just go... Like, after this, I would go to the left as ZD. And then do, like, grab down the dash attack or something. But... This is it there. I'm just trying to catch the panic. Because, like, everyone everyone has different options when you get hit by a Little Mac and the Little Mac has KO punch. You're either going to jump, you're going to air dodge, you're going to mash, right? And, obviously, I think they play a lot, so probably knew that ZD is a, is a jumper there. Again, any extra credit is so good. That's going to be not safe on shield, even with the extra charge. Oh, you're dead. How much did that do? Did that shit do 30? I forgot how much damage that did. That does 30. 3-0. Thir what the fuck? If ZD missed there, he was dead. Mm-hmm. Good coverage. Ledge jump there. Yeah. The ledge jump was kind of obvious, but hard to hit. He's been disadvantaged for a long ass time. That is second regrab, less invincibility. So nice timing by ZD. You're dead. Why'd you put yourself on a platform? Fool. Like what you're supposed to do against Little Mac when you're when you're coming back from disadvantage or like angel platform is you or when he's coming back from angel platform is you stay up here and then you see him fall and then if he goes to platform you just run the fuck away immediately. But ZD did that much too late. Ouch. He tried to get a second one. He was right. The armor just didn't start yet. Yup, KO punch. Ding dong. Uh, nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, gonna go to battlefield. Interesting. So bigger vertical blast zones, but it's gonna be a little bit easier to get out of, get out of disadvantage for Peanut because that game he kind of got stuck in disadvantage a lot. No jump. Oh my god, dude, that was sick. What the fuck? So up tilt, jab, jab, catches the jump. ZD can probably air dodge here, but who the fuck is mashing air dodge here? Also, you don't want to, you know, mash to shield on platform. He gets so much damage. Like, legitimately, Peanut is so good for looking for his win condition. Like, so good at looking for his win conditions, but also just, like, making you so scared. Like, I know Little Mac obviously does that by himself because of a couple of his options, but, like, L Peanut himself is just really good at putting the fear in you. He had every tilt that combo. He's done that a couple times now. Oh, that was up B. I think he, he probably inputted it and it didn't work. There it is. Oh, God. He's going to get KO punched. Oh, God. He's going to get punched. I lied. He died. Oh, my God. That almost broke his shield. Ow. Down smash again. <gasps> that almost put him in a tech chase on the platform. On the top plat. That would have been crazy. What the fuck? That would have been insane if he didn't have a jump. Or if he just, like, was slightly lower percent. 
Like, he's really good at holding his ground and, like, not overextending. That was so good. Like, great job catching the jump. Because, like, every time you do that as Little Mac, you're putting yourself at risk. Because he can just, like, nair, and then you're going to get hit. And then maybe get hit off stage and die. Oh, he's fishing. Ow. A wolf bounced over the down tilt. He was... <laughs> Peanut was right. He was right. He just... It bounced. That sucks. Because, of course, as Little Mac and Disadvantager in, like, tech situations, you you really have to play the 50-50 of, oh, well, if I'm a bit too obvious and I, and I tech in because I don't want to go off stage, they're just going to read me. Um, but if I tech out and they hit me, I'm going to be further off stage and die. But, like, Little Mac, that's, like, super very true. You're so dead to top platform. Damn. Boosh. 72. Jesus Christ. I love the forward air. Forward, it's so funny getting hit by aerials against Little Mac. Yeah, the up to buff made him way better. Like, he's still, like, the bottom three characters in the game, but he's still... It's it's still much, much better. Oh, nice. Y'all remember when they nerfed uh, the three jabs? Because if you timed it super correctly, you'd have you'd be, like, plus ten more. So it was actually, like, a combo. At low percent, you'd be able to go, like, jab, 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 dash, jab, 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 dash, jab... Or, sorry, dash, up tilt. So, like, two sets of jabs and then up tilt onto platform or some shit. That was nice. They were like, mm, that was by accident, sorry. Oh, what a counter by... That was like an advantage state counter. What the fuck? That was crazy. Oh, ZD missed his dash for the back air. Yup, you can't hit a shield. He's dead. Like, he got down tilted at 58! What an insane dude. Peanut is so like Peanut's actually incredible. Like he's so underrated. It's hard to commentate because he's just so right all the time and he's he's putting the situation such in his favor so often, which is crazy considering he's such a bad fucking character. Like Little Mac still sucks, but he's like a you know, he's the second or third worst character in the game, but he's like a 5 out of 10. When normally the worst characters in games are like 2 out of 10s or 3 out of 10s. Like Ganon's a 3.5 out of 10, but also there was that Ganon that beat T in a first to 10 online. Like 10-5. So every character's good. Play whoever the fuck you want. Shut up, Palutena mains. Crazy. Go follow Peanut. Go to his YouTube, etc, etc. I'm going to put all the stuff in the links in the description. I'll see you all next time.